Hello again everyone, it's Grampy and uh, I'm here on Monkey Farms Patreon fan server at my base, Grampy's Winery and Estate and I wanted to do a, just a real quick little showcase video of the cow farm I just finished. <coughs> it's uh, Impulse SV's AFKable farm and uh, but I made some updates to it because I'd I, uh, it wasn't working real well for me in 1.9. It works great in 1.8. I, uh, I built it on the 1.8 version of our server here, and it made enough it made enough beef to feed the whole server forever. But when I built it in 1.9, I had some trouble with it, and I just wanted to show some of the uh, the um, the changes that I made to make it work in 1.9. It, it works great now. I, don't, I didn't change much. I'm not gonna. <laughs> take credit for it, but I was having a little trouble. I'll explain what it was and show you what I did to fix it if you're building this. So here's my nether transportation system. So here's the cow farm. Grampy's chop house. Uh, let's go through this portal. So um, the main problem was the babies got a little more rambunctious, I guess, or active. I haven't decorated this much. I'm still I'm gonna have to do a lot of decoration, but I'm still gonna build an automated wheat farm up on the surface and deliver wheat here. It's still pretty manual right now. With I just got a nano farm here where I'm trying to get enough wheat to use it. But I have uh, decorated my portal. <laughs> anyway, um, here's the change that I made. If you've seen. Well, let's go down below first and look at the mechanism down there. So, um, here's how here's how this thing is designed. It uses a... The cows are in a cell right there. I've got about a hundred cows in that cell and they're standing on a uh, dispenser. And by the way, I built this far enough to where these chunks are unloaded. Unless somebody's here using it, it's, these chunks are never loaded. I suppose if somebody moves in out here, it could cause a problem, and I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see, but right, because the you know there are enough entities here to cause some lag problems. But I've got this um, dispenser that dispenses a a uh, water bucket to float the cows. It's on a this there's a button up there in the AFK spot where this redstone block will come down on a piston and light it up. The babies just start squirting out and they go up this elevator here. And uh, <clears throat> and so now let's go look at that. Um, so here they are. The babies come up this elevator and then they go down and stand on these hoppers underneath that lava block and you can see what happens to them when they grow up. Typical, typical fashion. But here's the problem I was having. In 1.8 this water elevator came one block higher than this piston so it came it was one block lower it just came here and the babies would jump out of that water stream and they would jump up into this um, trap door and then fall down and and uh, it worked fine they would they would hit that trap door fall straight down and not uh, bounce around anymore but in 1.9 um, I found two problems. One, they seemed to that didn't keep them from jumping around, so a lot of them jumped up and burned in the lava when they were babies. The other, but the worst problem was they could they seemed to be able to jump back up into the water stream, and uh, when they did that, they would get up into a into that area and that back up into this system and grow up into big cows and get trapped in there and clog up everything. So I just raised it. All I did. Not like I did anything really uh, brilliant. I just raised it up one level. So there's two blocks here now between where they come out and where they're standing. And I raised, I put another trap door above it. And so they hit that trap, those trap doors and just fall straight down. Some of them still jump up and get burned, but most of them do what, just what these guys are doing <clears throat> and wait to grow up and die in the lava. So um, right now with my manual system, I've just got some you know, wheat in this chest and leather. Interesting piece of leather sitting there. But um, um, there's the 
There's the lava. You can turn the lava off if you want to kill them yourself with a looting sword or whatever. You can turn that lava off. But I found in 1.9, I don't, I might be wrong about this, but it doesn't seem like looting, you know, with the sword effects where it, um, you swing your sword and other entities are affected by your sword swing. When they die, I don't think you get the looting effect on everything that dies. I, I may be wrong about that. It just seemed like I was getting a lot less uh, productivity by it than I used to. It, it's still more than if you just let them die in, in lava, but it wasn't as much as I was getting before with looting. So pretty much I just let them grow up into lava now. Here's how it works. If you haven't seen it, I'll just demonstrate it real, real quick. This is kind of cheesy. I should figure out a way to have one switch that turns everything on, but right now I've just got a button that extends that redstone block and fires off the water dispenser and floats these cows. And then I've got a lever that turns on the wheat dispensing system here. So you just stand on this block and start, um, you, AF, you can AFK here with the F11 trick while you're hitting your right mouse button and just feed these cows and um, there's a hundred of them in there so it'll use quite a bit of wheat but um, when you know and then you just stay there as long as you want and they'll go through their cycles of breeding and and uh, and then the babies will grow up in batches and you can see them working pretty well here they just go up and hit that they jump up and hit that trap door and then they're pretty calm when they get down there they used to jump all over the, yeah, that one, a few of them will burn in the lava like that one just did, but and see, they would jump like this and jump back up into the water stream, and that really sucked, because they would get clogged up in there like crazy. But anyway, this is how it works now, and here they are, just waiting to uh, grow up and turn themselves into steak, and, uh, you know, I've got my nano farm here for now, I'll rip that out when I build a big, I'm going to build Unary Bits uh, wheat farm up there, a two stack, a double level one. I found a double level one provides about the right amount of wheat to just keep this thing cooking for uh, infinite AFK sessions if you want. <clears throat> and uh, but, and there's a fix to Unary Bits farm, by the way. If you haven't seen it, it's broken in 1.92. Some guy made a fix uh, to it that that solves those problems. And it's a pretty simple fix. So yeah, but you got to go watch it because uh, in 1.9, the uh, the villagers who, if you're familiar with that farm, <laughs> there are some villagers that are positioned uh, in a way that the farming villagers try to throw food to them all the time. And um, in 1.9, they're able to get to the food. <laughs> they're able to get some of the food that they throw them. And when they get food in their inventories, the farmers quit throwing food at them, and so it breaks your farm. Anyway, there's a simple fix to that. And uh, I haven't used this much yet, but I've used it a little bit. It takes so long to get enough bones to make my nano farm and grow enough wheat that it's kind of a pain. Once I get the automated wheat farm, I will, I will be getting plenty and when I use my looting sword, it it uh, it also generates some raw meat, which is worthless, right? Because you can't trade it anymore. Like you know, and it's so when this farm is cooking, steaks are so abundant. It's not even worth the coal it takes to cook it. So uh, I'll probably just throw it away. But anyway, so here it is, guys. This is my quick little fix. If you're using this farm, I think it's worth going ahead and adding the extra level and um, and by and using a using a uh, dispenser instead of the piston system that Impulse used. I use that dispenser, and it works a lot better with with Impulse's piston. It got a little wonky also, and let cows get in get loose and. Anyway, here you go, guys, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you're building this thing, get ready because you can generate a ton of steak. You can feed a whole server easy with this thing. Thanks, guys. See you next time.